Nick, I'm Pamela, and today we are here to talk about um, eco-friendly diapering for your baby. And why are we talking about this? Because 20 billion diapers are sent to the landfill every year. Crazy. And it's something that could be prevented, so, and you actually cloth diapered your daughter, right? Right, I cloth diapered her. It had less to do in the beginning with, well, I guess it kind of had the environmental impact, but a lot to do with the chemicals that are in diapers. Because diapers are made of plastic, and all those right. absorbent properties are probably chemicals, chemical additives, and like gels and different. Mm, yeah, and that's sitting on a very sensitive area, sensitive area on your baby. Um, a very, you know, you absorb things through your skin, so you wanted to have an option that was both healthy, mm -hmm. and then luckily it's also eco-friendly eco and sustainable. Absolutely. So we're going to show you how Pam cloth diapered Esther. Mm -hmm. For almost two years. Two years. Yeah, it wasn't that hard. We've already written a couple posts about it if you go to the website. Um, one just doing an overview, another one that's more in detail with the price comparison of cloth diapering versus traditional uh, disposable diapering. But we thought we'd add a visual presentation just to give you an idea of how it all functions in real life. Yeah, so basically disposable diaper is just made of two parts. You have an outer part, mm -hmm. outer. So I'm going to use the colorful one so you can see it on camera better. The outer part mm -hmm. and the inner part. The, the liners. liners. Yeah. And that's it. So let's see. Let's start with the outer part. Yep. We can talk about the cover. You're the expert here. All right. So I brought three different covers here because I have them in my house. And they're actually three different brands, which will give you a nice comparison. Mm -hmm. There are so many brands out there you can choose from. That's true. All the ones I have are the kind that can be used as covers or diapers in themselves because they have a pocket. There are some out there that are strictly covers and you can only use them if you buy the liners separately. Um, anyway, how would that work? It seems like you could put anything on top of a diaper. Well, you could, but there are some that come without the pocket here. So oh, like oh this, so you're saying it could only be used. Right, it's strictly this plastic outside piece. Oh, I see. Right. Do you think it matters? No, I think it's all in preference. Okay. If you don't ever plan on um, putting the liner inside of the diaper, then I could have probably gotten away with using them. Just are those fine. cheaper? Yeah, they those are. are cheaper. These ones tend to run like twenty bucks a pop. These mm -hmm. these diaper ones. Now that sounds expensive, but I mean, when I watch Pam diaper, I mean, one of these lasts all day long. Right, the way I did it. Yes. Yeah. So you bought maybe like what five, seven, six? She had like six of nice these outer ones. ones. And it lasts all day long. It doesn't get soiled because what's getting soiled is the inside of it. The liner here. Yeah. Right. So, so we would basically just take our liner, we'd set it inside the diaper, fold it over the baby, and then uh, lock her in place here. I mean, that's pretty basic, but there you go. And she's ready to go. When it's soiled, you unsnap them, you take out this uh, liner here, and you put it in your laundry bin to be washed and then as long as it wasn't a heavy soiled diaper you just keep reusing the cover because it's fine it's not wet it's not dirty yeah um, anyway let's introduce the rest of the materials that we have here I think over there you have wipes eco-friendly wipes right it's called a washcloth <laughs> more or less yeah I you actually don't need baby wipes you never bought them I know maybe once or something but yeah sometimes when we were traveling or something happened um, I have a whole section on traveling because we do have uh, some places we travel where washer and dryers are not available to us, so that's when we used uh, the wipes that we bought. Right, and, and you know, baby, baby wipes um, can have a lot of weird chemicals in there. They're not really all natural. Not at all. And you don't really need a whole lot to clean a baby bum. You need a washcloth, and you need a little soapy water. And that's it. That's it. So this was a bottle that you got from the hospital, you said? Yep, it was part of a postnatal care, so I just repurposed it. Postnatal care, send you home with a piece of plastic. Yep, I had, I got two of them. The one was in my diaper bag, and one stayed on her changing table. Yeah. Taken care of. And so you would just take this and... Spray what? it on the cloth. Spray it on your cloth, drip it till it's wet, and then, you know, we can wipe up. And these claws were made out of some flannel that I had, and then I just took my sewing machine and edged it all around so that it wouldn't unravel over time. And these are two years old now, and it's still holding up pretty strong. Yeah, and if you're not the crafty kind or you're time pressed, Etsy is a great website. I mean, so many great. You can buy all sorts there. of little things on there. I also want to point out that some people think that cloth 
diapering can be gross, but if you look, you don't see these heavily stained. Do no. you see any stains on them? No. I mean, I've used them for everything. Mm -hmm. I won't be graphic, but I mean, they might look a little dingy, but so they're not stained. Pretty nasty diapers. <laughs> yeah, they're, they still look fine. Yeah, a little faded. Yeah, but I feel like once they're washed this many times, they clean better. Then they get more absorbent yeah. than when they're bopped when they're fresh cloth. That was true at first, the water would just kind of pile up on it, probably because they had to pop gas to get rid of whatever chemical during the... The fabric is treated with whatever yeah, yeah. fabric making process. So what other materials do we have here? We talked about the liners. Let me show you, we have a couple different liners. Since I bought the brands that came as diapers, not specifically covers, they came with liners also because the other use for this is to just stick this liner inside the diaper and instead of using it as a cover, there we go, you can actually just use it as a diaper. Fold this over, there we go. So now you have something in there to absorb and every time you change your baby you just take this whole thing off and put that in the wash and then put a new diaper. So you'd have to have a lot more of those. Yeah. So you might need 20 to 30 of these covers. That's where it gets pricey. <laughs> yeah. So it depends on your, your preference for it. So you can either put the liner inside like that, or you can go out, um, because if you decide to do the pre-folds in the middle, you'll need more than what it just comes with. You can just buy pre-folds like this, and they have a, a middle layer that's more absorbent. You just fold in the outside edges. Stick it in the middle of the diaper like this. Yeah, wrap the baby up. Why is that pre-fold bigger than that one? Uh, two different sizes. They actually, I think they have three sizes. They have like newborn size, infant size, and this is regular size. But is that too long for the diaper? I guess it sticks, it sticks out a little bit when they get older, right? But it, not much. It does. I actually never ended up using the regular size. Uh, my daughter happens to be a, be a bit of a peanut. She's not very tall. She's tiny. Very tiny. So she never got to the regular size. I use these mostly for uh, cleaning up rags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we never got to that. Or emergency stock. Yeah. Yeah. And what else do we have here? We have our handy dandy diaper bag, which is really the last piece of equipment you need. I mean, need is relative. You could use any laundry bag that you have if you want, but I do have a laundry bag that's lined so that it doesn't uh, leak out anywhere. That can be pretty gross. And yeah, I just put all my laundry, baby laundry in here, and I wash the cover and everything when, it, when it's uh, laundry day. What did you do on the go? Like, if you were out and about, is it more difficult to cloth diaper if you're gonna be running errands? Did you put her in disposable if you're just gonna go eat her to restaurants? Like, what did you do? Um, I was hardcore on the cloth diapering, mostly yeah. because I feel like uh, people want to catch you sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they don't, but I felt that way. Is that a disposable diaper on your baby? Right, yeah. It was probably just all in my head. But So I did cloth diapering everywhere on the go. I had a small little wet bag with the same Oh, you do. Pattern. You have a smaller one of this. It looks the same, but it has it does a zipper. Yeah. Yes. Zipper. So I keep that in my diaper bag. And then when I would go out, I would take one pre-fold with me for every hour that I'd be gone, along with an extra cover maybe two, depending on the age. And, and that, then, that all fit in your diaper bag, though, right? right? Yeah. yeah, and then again, I had an extra bottle like this that I kept in the diaper bag, and I had a handful of these that I stuck in there, so I was ready to go. It maybe took up a little bit more room than a disposable diaper would take up, but not a significant amount. Well, you people are usually bringing their baby wipes, their right. disposable At that diaper. age, you're, you're carrying so. a big bag regardless, right. a lot of people, if you're that kind of person who likes big bags. Um, so it didn't really matter if it took up a little extra space. Yeah, yeah. so on the go didn't really prove to be a problem. There's a little changing pad. You can take them to the car, you take them outside, take them to the restroom. It's not a big deal. And so what do we have here? The last thing we'll talk about is if you do need disposable diapers. Um, the one that I ended up going with was the Bambo brand here. So why did you sort of like some people probably do cloth all the time, mm -hmm. some do disposable all the time, and you kind of compromised and did both. And what was, what um, happened? Our daughter is very finicky, that's a nice way to put it. She wouldn't sleep through the night if her diaper was wet. So 
every time she wet herself, morning or night, day, whatever, she really only had about a minute of tolerance for a wet diaper and then it had to get off of her immediately. So every time she went at night, she'd wake up screaming. So the yeah. only way and to get her- And the cloth diapers don't dry out the way- No, they don't. They don't absorb or, or wick, pull the moisture away. So we ended up putting her in disposables overnight to get a good night's sleep, her and us, because at a year old, we just need to sleep at that and point. So does she. Yeah. So Babies she. need to sleep the night too, so. Right, so we went with the bamboo because it's a, a bamboo-based diaper. It doesn't have any plastic in it. A lot of the traditional diapers out there are made of plastic, so they're not breathable. Um, this one is breathable. And a lot of the pieces in it are compostable also, and uh, it's the only diaper of its kind out there. And if you go look at our website, I think there should be some links on the diapering blog to some studies where they tested this diaper against other green diapers and also against traditional ones, and this one won out over every diaper on the market. What was the brand again? Bambo. B A M. -O. Did we show the bag? I did. Oh, we can show it again. Bambo. Bambo. So if you do need a disposable, this is a good option. This is a good option. Right. Did we get through everything here? Yeah, I mean, honestly, cloth diapering is not as complicated as people think it is. It is not. Oh, I know what I wanted to mention. So, I think a lot of questions that I've seen come up about cloth diapering is washing them. Yes. So oh, that's good. Yeah, I should probably talk about washing them. I think that's a big barrier because it's poopy. What did you do with poopy diapers? <laughs> well, you put the poop in the toilet, right? Right. Well, when they're small, um, it's not solid. Right. So that all just goes in the wash like a urine would. When they got bigger and it's a solid, then we just take the diaper, let me just get a little diaper here, and we'd walk it over the toilet and we would drop the solid in and then put everything in the laundry. Yeah, so that was actually really easy. And flush the solid. I mean, you can do that anywhere you go out in public. If we're out in public and there's no uh, toilet, then we would just wrap it up like that, you know, put it in our wet bag and take it home and dispose of it in our toilet. Yeah, it I've seen that, that people have like, um, canisters and you can have like a solution there ready to put your dirty diapers in mm -hmm. just keep them soaking until you're ready to actually wash them yeah you can make those solutions with vinegar tea tree oil hydrogen peroxide something to kind of kill the germs actually that lemon all-purpose spray that we have a recipe on our blog that would be great because once it sits out for a couple days you don't smell any vinegar it's just lemon and rosemary yeah and you could make a huge batch of that to soak yeah. the diapers in next I mean, it probably wouldn't completely mask the smell, but it would help to sterilize them before they go in the wash. Mm -hmm. um, but you actually did something great, which if you live in a city, this could be an option for you. Oh. And it's, I think it's a really cool option. And you had a diaper delivery service, right? Yes. I was all about washing my diapers at home. My boyfriend was not on board with that. He is a germaphobe, but at the same time, he doesn't think it's gross and he thinks cloth diapering is great, so I don't know why washing them was... I think he's he perceived it as a big hassle in the laundry department. Yeah. I do the laundry. I don't know why that mattered to him. Well, you might not have minded, but anyway, to compromise, again, because sometimes when you're being green, you have to compromise mm -hmm. with your family and circumstances. Time, yeah. So. Austin has a diaper, diaper delivery service. Yep, a lot of cities do now. A lot of cities. So basically, they provide you with your pre-folds, um, the ones that you fold up and put inside, the liners inside the diaper. They deliver your clean ones once a week, and on that same day, they pick up all of your dirty ones, take them away, wash them, and then the next week, they bring you those cleaned and pick up your dirty. So it's just yeah. every week you get a delivery of clean, you send out your dirty ones to be washed. It's pretty awesome. And they give you a bag to put the dirty ones in. You just leave the bag outside your door. They take it and they put the clean ones outside your door. Right. It's so easy. They so then you really only have to wash your, your own supplies, which would be like um, you your know, covers. Mine provided covers also, but I didn't care for their covers, so I used my own. And you know, you have to wash your washcloths, yeah. your outers. So they only wash the things that they provide for you, which are the pre-folds most of the time. Yeah, that's a great option for people who live in the city or who don't have a washing machine at their house but still want to do diapering. Yeah, because what if you live in an apartment complex in a city mm -hmm. and you, you have or you have to go to the laundromat or your apartment's facilities? That might be a barrier for people. So if you can get the diaper delivery service, it's not that expensive, I don't think. It was very affordable. Ours ran, I think, around $90 a month. They also have a, had a discounting program where if you didn't mind them providing you with stained ones, it would be like $60 a month. Yeah, and who cares if it's stained? It's $2 it's a day. It's still clean. Yeah, it's still clean. Yeah. $2 a day for diapering. Yeah. Help. 
very reasonable. Did we get through it all? Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, if you want to be eco-friendly when you're diapering your baby, decrease some of the waste. Oh, there was and one they're super thing. cute. Is this, cute. look at this. Is this not the cutest? You this have one a... was given to me by a wonderful woman who I made friends with at my daughter's swim class. Because uh -huh. she didn't do cloth diapering and she saw that I did and she's like, I have this adorable diaper a friend gave me. Uh, Maybe you could use it. Yeah. I said, sure, of course I can use it. Who can't use they're it? They're so cute. I mean, diaper. come on. Sure, little... she's a girl with a mustache on her butt, but that's fine. No, she that's adorable. Cute. She looked very cute. She had little bright orange ones. She had a little math diaper with little equations. Yeah. That one was dark, so I didn't want to bring it. There was actually one thing I did want to talk about that we missed. Is that these are one size fits all. Oh, yeah. Yep. Because when you're buying disposable diapers, you'll notice, I mean, if you, if you have kids, that's why you're watching this, so you already know this, but they're all sized. Um, so with cloth diapering, a lot of them are one size fits all. Let me find the snappies in the front. So as they grow, the diaper grows with them. So you can have it on its smallest setting where it'll fold up right there. Here, if you'll hold that. Itty bitty. Hold on. Make it look like an itty bitty. You want to fold it in so it looks like a real yeah, diaper. For a little people. itty bitty diaper. And then as they grow, it can grow in size with them. You can see it go down. There a little better. Yeah. You can see how it grows. Is it better than that? Yeah, I don't know. That's the Either way. It's hard to see. You just unsnap it and adjust it to the size that you need. But basically, sh your daughter, my niece, she's been using the exact these outers mm -hmm. since she was born. Yeah, these are this almost, is two, almost years old. two years old. Yeah. You've never had to replace them. They're super durable, so it might seem like expensive when you first buy it, but it's lasting you two years. Yeah, the total or investment more, depending breakdown. on when you finally potty train. So, correct. The breakdown is on the website. You can go look at. I did a cost analysis for you, but also look at the inside. Two years I've been using this, and there have been blowouts. Clean. Oh yeah, it's not really that stained at all. Because people worry about the cleanliness, the whether it's hygienic, how it looks. None of these are stained. No, they're very light. Yeah. There was one prefold that was pretty badly stained. That was, yeah, that was quite an episode. But I mean, you can't help. But even all of them. even so, the stain—it's not dirty. It's just stained now. But it's not. Yeah, it's so, still clean. And when I go to wash it, I put it in the washer, and I do use a heavy-duty load. Yes, it uses extra water, but this is a high hygiene issue. So well, and you have to water. think about how much water is going to be used in a factory producing all those disposable disposable so. diapers. So I do a hot setting, I even throw in a little extra detergent, um, I put it on a heavy duty wash so it's a little longer, and then I just, uh, I put them in the dryer because I'm lazy. And I don't well, and a it. high heat dryer will help kill germs as well. Right. So I don't have a place, a line on my uh, balcony to really hang stuff to dry, so yeah, they just go in the dryer or you can hang them to dry if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thanks for watching. If you want more information, go ahead, go to our uh, website greenhearteffect.com where we have a couple of posts all about the cloth diapering so if we didn't answer it on those two posts or here you can go ahead and shoot us a comment and one of us will be able to answer you yeah okay thanks, thanks for watching bye